Hey there and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about year to date and month to date analysis. We will break the analysis into two parts. The first part will, we will write a SQL query and understand how to actually calculate year to date and month to date in SQL. And in the second part, we will try to plot the results we have obtained in Tableau and see actually what is getting calculated. First of all, what is basically year to date and month to date? The first one is year to date. Year to date refers to the period of time from the beginning of current calendar year up to the present date. It's often used to analyze a company's or individual's performance or other metrics within the context of current year. And for example, if today's date is 28th October, year to date would include the performance or data from January 1st to October 28th of the same year. Similarly, Month to date refers to the period of time from the beginning of current calendar month up to the present date. It's used to evaluate performance or data on a monthly basis. For example, consider today's date as October 28th, then month to date would include the performance of data from October 1st to October 28th of the same month. This is the basic explanation for year to date and month to date. Now we will see how to write a query to calculate year to date and month to date in SQL. For that, we will be using the AdventureWorks database. This database we can actually restore from a file and I have already created a video based on which you can restore the database. That is a small video which is only 5 minutes. You can quickly go through that and you can easily restore the database. Not only for this question. In order to practice other queries as well, you can use that AdventureWorks database because if you see here, the AdventureWorks database contains a lot of tables and all these tables can be used to write queries and practice queries. So we'll move on to our question. And also we are going to use the table sales order header table. And on this table, we will be writing the query. Let me write a select star for top 10 records from the sales order header table select top 10 we'll copy the table name now let me run the query invalid object name because here it is master database so i don't have to change it here because i already have this use adventureworks database query over here so only thing i have to do here is i don't have to select any query just execute it now it should run so we have the sales order header database in this table we have sorry sales order header table in this table, we have so many columns. In order to write this YTD and MTD query, we don't require all these columns. We require only three columns, which are sales order ID, sales order date, and there is one more column which is required, which is the total due. Let me also mark it here, total due. So these are the columns which we will be using to write the queries. Let us start writing the query. Select the three columns sales order id order date and total use let me copy the column names and we'll use it over here these are the three columns which are required and taken from the table sales order header let me come in this table down so we'll run this query total due it's not total it's total now we should have three columns which are sales order id sales order date and total due which is basically the sales so we'll rename this total due as sales so we'll do sales and also one more thing we'll do here we'll order this table based on order date order by order date column in ascending order now we'll execute the query and see the data so we have the sales order id order date column and sales so now we are going to calculate first ytd and then month to date sales based on the data let me put this query inside a cte putting this inside a parenthesis and i'm going to remove this order by clause from the innermost query because if i put an order by clause within a common table expression it will give us an error so after that select and before writing the ytd query the first thing we have to calculate here is we have to calculate the total sales for each day so if we see the data, now we have sales order ID column, which is the primary key column. So it won't be repeating. So all the rows will be unique. 
But when we see the order date column, we have order dates which are repeating. So first we will calculate the total sales for each order date. For that, order date, comma, sum of sales because we have already renamed the column as sales. We will name the column as total sales. And this is from the table T1 and we'll use a group by close here which will group the result by order date. Copy and now we will order the result based on the order date column which is in ascending order. Now let us run the query. Now we have two columns which are order date and total sales. Now if we see the result, we don't have any duplicate order dates. All the order dates are unique and this is the total sales corresponding to each order dates based on which we will write the YTD sales which is the year to date sales. Now this query also will put inside a CT comma T2S. This order by clause also we will remove and now T2 dot star which means all the columns from T2 table and next part is where we are going to write the YTD calculation using the sum function sum of total sales and in the over by clause sorry over clause the result should be partitioned by or the sum of total should be calculated based on partition first one is year so we only have order date so from the order date column we can calculate the year with year function year of order date and next is order by clause on the order date column in ascending order so now here is partition is based on the year from the order date column and order by clause is based on the order date now we'll name this as ytd sales and this is taken from the table t2 now let us run the query and see the result now we have one more column which is calculated which is the ytd sales now let us compare the total sales and ytd sales and see what is the difference now taking the first date which is 31 5 2011 we have total sales of 5 lakh 67,020 and coming to YTD sales the value is same and coming to the second row we have the same year but the order date got changed the order date is 1-6-2011 so for that particular YTD sales is calculated in such a way that total sales of both the rows are added together and YTD sales is calculated similarly if I come down to the third row all these three values will be summed up and the value will be provided in the third row. Similarly, if I come to the fourth row, all these four values will be summed together and will be provided in the fourth row until the end of this year. So the same pattern will continue and we will have the YTD sales calculated in the similar manner. So let me move on to the end of this year, which is 31st 12, 2012. And let us see what is happening. So this is 31st 12, 2011 and the value is 14,155,699 that is the YTD sales value now coming to the first day of 2012 which is 1 1 2012 again the sum is calculated from the beginning which means the YTD sales will be the total sales from the beginning of that particular year so the values are same for that particular row so 2012 1 1 which is basically january 1st the ytd sales and total sales will be equal and coming to the 2nd of january ytd sale will be the sum of sales happening for the first two days similarly coming down until the end of this 2012 the similar pattern will continue and this is the year to date sales calculation now moving on to month to date calculation so we, we will do the month to date calculation in the same query so we'll copy this query it is very similar but only one change and the name is mtd sales here the only change is that here we have used only year of order date for partition but for month to date sales we will be using one more function which is the month function and we will calculate the month of order date order date now if we run the query we will get the month to date sales so we can see that we have a new column which is the month to date sales so this will behave very similar to y to d year to date sales the only difference is that year to date sales will get reset once it reaches the end of that particular year but month to date sales will get reset once the date reaches the end of that particular month so if we consider the first row the order date the month is 5 that is 31 5 2011 so the month to date sales and total sales are equal let me move it over here equal and then coming to the next row it is first 6 2011 so the value got reset so again the total sales and month to date sales are equal 
and if I come to the next day which is 2nd of 6, 2011 and the month to date sales will be the sum of total sales from the first two days and similarly coming to the third day it will be the sum of total sales from the first, second and third day. Similarly, this pattern will continue until the end of that particular month and if I move on to the next month and again it will get reset. Now moving on to seventh month here again it got reset and again it started calculating the month to date sales from the beginning. Similarly, this pattern will continue for all the month and this is how we calculate YTD and MTD sales and it is very easy to understand if we see this visually. I have already converted this table into a CSV file and I have already imported the table into Tableau. So we already have the result in Tableau which is order date. We have the month to date sales and year to date sales and the total sales column also. Now we will see what is actually happening when we write the query and how that reset of sales is happening. For that, let me take this order date column. First, we will see the YTD sales. Let me take the order date column here. So it is for four years, 2011, 12, 13 and 14. And now we'll see the year to date sales. Let me copy it over here. And one more thing I'm going to take. I'm going to take order date one once more to the column shell and I will convert it to exact date. See, take the first year 2011. So from the data set, the first day is 31st June 2011. So it started calculating the running sum basically. And once it reaches the end of that particular year, again that value went down and then started calculating from the beginning. And it calculate again the running sum for every order date until the end of that year. And again, when it reaches 2013, the next year, it started calculating the running sum from the beginning and that pattern continues. And this is the year to date sales pattern. Now coming to the month to date sales pattern. So we'll take the order date column once again, but for this, we'll take only one year and see what is happening. So I will filter the data for a year. So year, uh, so I will take 2011 apply. Okay. So then this is month to date sales and once more I am taking the order date column and I am putting it here. I don't want quarter but instead what I want is exact date and this year of order date I should change to month of order date. Sorry, not quarter, it's month. Yeah. So let me change it to a area chart. So it is better looking. Now if we compare the October and November from the result, we can see that. So the running sum is calculated from the beginning of that month and it goes until the end of that particular month. And once it reaches the next month, it again started calculating the running sum of the sales. And then once it reaches the end of that month, again it calcul starts calculating from the beginning of that particular month. So I took the example of October and November here because it is very obvious from the example. So this is how we visualize year to date and month to date sales in Tableau. And this is all about YTD and MTD calculation in SQL. Thanks for watching. And if you like the video, subscribe our channel. Thank you.